period. Hi guys, it's Kaden. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If not, maybe I can make it better. Maybe make you smile. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to participate in a little bit of mukbanging. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're not gonna, you know, ponder about the idea for too long. Um, I just thought, you know, maybe there's somebody out there who's eating and doesn't have anybody to eat with. And you know, maybe we could eat together. Go on like a little date, you know? Talk, hang out, and just eat. So for today, we are going to be mukbanging the classic, the iconic In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> Comment down below what you're eating, if you are eating. If you want, pause this video, grab your food, eat something while you're being entertained, you know what I mean? Alrighty, for drinks, we have a traditional unsweetened iced tea. That is my favorite drink. Fun fact, a little fun fact about me. Anytime I go out, like whether it's going to dinner or just picking up food, I will always be getting an iced tea. So, iced tea is my drink of choice. I won't be eating this now, eating? I won't be drinking this now, but I got a vanilla shake from in and out as a little dessert. Time for the main event. Let's do a little unboxing. Hey! I know it's usually closed, but today we are gonna be doing food, which, you know, can never go wrong with that. Behold, the in and out fries. I'm so excited. Mm, they smell good. Mm -hmm. And then our entree of choice, obviously a burger. Look how glorious she is. I usually get a double-double, but today I wasn't too hungry, so I wanted to just do a single patty. You know, fun fact about me as well, I'm a very picky eater, so literally there's only meat and cheese on this. I will never be ashamed of that. I will be ordering chicken tenders and plain cheeseburgers for the rest of my life, okay? Sorry about it. All right, we're gonna get a little up close and personal. Let's take our first bite. Happy dance. Whenever I eat, it's always a happy time. Unless it's something I don't like, then I'm miserable. Let's think of something to do while we're eating. Alrighty, I pulled some Q&A questions, so we're gonna do a little get to know me chit chat while we're eating, okay? Sounds good. Uh -huh. Biggest pet peeve. Hmm, let me, let me ponder about this. Okay, biggest pet peeve. One of my biggest pet peeves is something that I recently learned because I recently started driving. For those who don't know, I just turned 23. I got my license when I turned 20 because I was petrified of driving. So one of my biggest pet peeves is people who don't know how to merge into a lane. Like I'm talking like lanes that are merging together, obviously, because that's the textbook definition of what I was just talking about. Like, why are you speeding up? Why are you trying to get ahead of me? Like, it's like a zipper, guys. It's literally like a zipper. Like you don't need to be doing all of that, okay? It's a little bit, it's a little bit pick me. <laughs> Another pet peeve of mine is like slow walkers. You need to go somewhere else with your slow fucking walking. If I wanted to be on The Walking Dead, I would have auditioned. I don't need you walking like a zombie in front of me. Oh, you don't be fun. Okay. We're gonna skip the, um, we're gonna skip the Q&A questions. I wanna share with you some random thoughts that I wrote down in my notes and we could discuss them, okay? Cause I feel like that'd be more like conversational, like, you know, I'm telling a story or something that is more fun to me. Okay, first thing I wrote, do you think the peanut butter cup came out before the song Build Me Up Buttercup or did they get the name from that song? You know the song that, why don't you build me up, build me up buttercup baby just to let me down. Like, did the peanut butter cup come out before the song or after the song? Like, did like Reese's or something hear that and be like, ooh, a peanut butter cup, like buttercup. Like, cause buttercup doesn't sit right with like peanut butter and chocolate. Like, how do you get buttercup from that? Like I get peanut, like butter, like buttercup. I get the butter in the buttercup, but not the cup part. You know what I'm saying? So which one came first? If somebody wants to Google that, let me know. That was just a random thought I had. Let's see. I remember this one distinctively. I was listening to Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. You know the Sweet Caroline. 
Um, <laughs> I was listening to that and I was like, oh, buy Neil Diamond. And immediately my brain went, Neil Diamond? Isn't that the diamond seller that they have on The Bachelor? I was like, did Neil Diamond, you know, pop off and write a hit song, Caroline, and then decided to go on reality TV and sell diamonds? And I was like, what happened there? Isn't the same person. I fully thought it was the same person for like 30 seconds. So the diamond seller, his name is Neil, but his name's Neil Lane. So it's Neil Lane Diamonds, not Neil Diamond. Definitely thought it was the same person for like too long. That's all I'm gonna say. But rest assured, it's not the same person. Okay, next one. Why are people so obsessed and amazed by limos? Seriously, I cannot tell you the amount of times I've witnessed crowds of people rushing and being like, oh my God, oh my God, it's a limo. Guys, it's just a long car. Why are we so obsessed? Like people will like, see a limo pulling up like they will see a limo pulling up and be like oh my god it's a limo and they will run out to see it please imagine somebody doing that to like a honda civic couldn't be me why are we so obsessed with limos as a population that's all i gotta say it's just a car guys i know it's long like it's cool it has some lights on the inside but it's just a car Calm down. Another thing I wrote down. If I'm listening to music, just know I am fully pretending to be in an edit of myself. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> if I'm listening to music and it's like a, like kind of like a ooh kind of song, I will be like, I'll be listening to it. And every time like the beat drops, I will like turn in a certain way. <laughs> like. If I'm listening, for example, if I'm listening to like Chase Atlantic, I will literally be like, and you know when he goes, yeah, like I'll literally be like, I'll literally be like, yeah. <laughs> and then in my brain, I'll be like, like I'll be in an edit of myself. I cannot wait for the day that I see an edit of myself. It's going to be the most amazing, spontaneous, humbling, embarrassing, terrifying things I will ever experience. And I, I'm so ready for it. If anybody wants to edit me, please do. Like, I'll give you some, <laughs> I'll give you some content. You know, like, I cannot wait for the day where I'm scrolling on TikTok or scrolling on my For You page and I see like, like a blurry vision, like a blurry like cap cut edit. Like it's like going and then it's like going to, the, like it's, it's like the tiny square getting bigger and bigger as the music intensifies. And then it's just, like it's just like me doing like that. Or it's me going like, or it's like something. Me smiling something. And then it's just an edit of me. I can't wait. Top 10 dreams right there. Barbecue bacon burger. Okay. Next one. Intrusive thought. I would love to deck someone in the face with a handful of potatoes. Mashed potatoes. That just seems so satisfying. It's like equivalent to throwing a snowball in somebody's face. Like imagine like getting a handful of mashed potatoes and just fucking... Like I want to be in a food fight so bad. I've never been in one, but like I would want to hit somebody in the face with mashed potatoes. Like imagine there's a food fight going on. That's the first thing I'm grabbing. I see fa fucking mashed potatoes right there. Fucking grabbing it and just Alrighty guys, last bite of the burger. Oh yeah. Little fun fact about me. If you're ever hanging out with me or ever around me or watching me eat, you'll start to pick up on this. When I'm eating fries, it's only when it's fries. I have to eat two at a time, like so. But do you see how one of them is longer than the other? They always have to be the same length. So I'll always bite them, so the exact the exact same length, and then I'll be able to eat it. I have no idea why I have to do that, but I've always had to do that. I've done it ever since I was a kid. 
And then like I'll be looking through here to try and find fries that look like they're the same length and like pair them up together. Just a little fact about me. I don't know, it's a little weird thing. Vanilla shake time. Mm. I forgot how good their vanilla shakes are. All right, do you guys want to see something crazy? Don't hate on me for this. If you know, you know. If you've done it before, you've done it before. It's so good. And I want everybody to do it once in their life. Mm. It's, it's so good. It's that sweet and salty combination. Alrighty guys. I think that is enough food for today. Do I have anything in my teeth? You tell me, right? <laughs> Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. They're right next to each other, so might as well. If you're eating, I hope I was good company. Let's hang out again sometime. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Until I see you guys next time, remember to stay always unapologetically yourself. Never change for anyone because you are perfect just the way you are. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!